son. It's niggas in the hood right now that's on this live. They know for a fact I'm not fronting. It's niggas I'll punch to the fuck of that. It's niggas right now that got it in like my son ain't lying. Because we already know what it is, nigga. I don't have to make an imagery legend about the streets. You gotta do, you're not gonna do that, son. And then look, you put Rock Nation goons. Stop fucking trying to label niggas so the hip hop police and try to scoop a nigga. You can't do that to me, son. You know why? I'm an entertainer, son. I'm a big entertainer, too. Yeah, I'm a big, I'm a big entertainer about to be in movies, all kind of shit, nigga. I ain't no regular nigga. So you try to do that fake, yo, let's label five and get him investigated. That shit ain't fucking happening to me, nigga. I sold drugs before. What, nigga? You heard? And I banged out for fucking 20, 30 years, nigga. What are you talking about? Everywhere. Everywhere, nigga. Not just New York. Every fucking where, nigga. Anybody that, yo, anybody that's on this live, man, if you know me, you know me, nigga, any fucking where I get it in, it don't matter. I got it in, we'll get it in, and that's what it is. Without nobody. That's another thing, choke no joke. I'm the reaper, nigga. I don't call nobody for beef, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. I don't call niggas on the phone for beef. Yo, I got beef. Come on. Come over here. Hold me down. I don't do none of that. I'm the goon. Fuck you talking about, nigga. I don't give a fuck about like all that fake. You a cameraman, son. You film the rock, nigga. When niggas was rapping, I was selling crack for real. Really catching him and charges running around. Ah! Bugging the fuck out. Putting hands on niggas. Not you, you, like you understand hands on. You I don't think your hands on like that, choke. I heard you got beat the fuck up. By Jay-Z security back in the days or whatever the fuck, nigga. You got beat the fuck up, nigga. Right? Right? You got the video saying you got beat up, Jay-Z and them security beat me up. And you know what I mean? That a, nigga, I don't got, nigga. You think I ever got beat the fuck up, choke no joke? I've been in fights, nigga. Niggas that have fights with niggas. I've never got beat up in my life. Tell niggas like that. I never, ever, ever got beat up, son. Ever. Beat up. No. Not me, nigga. Never be somewhere and get beat the fuck up. Be all beat up somewhere like, yo, they got me, son. Not me, nigga. I'm setting it off, nigga. I'm the, I'm, I'm the bugging out ass nigga. I'm the nigga of broad day police. I don't give a fuck. I'm that guy. So I don't get caught up in those situations, man. Straight up, nigga. It's either I meet another nigga like me and somebody die, or niggas move on to the next. When I, like, that's what type of time I'm on when I'm on that type of time, my man. You see what I'm saying? This is why five mics can get on the internet and crack jokes. Because I crack niggas' heads. And still laugh and all that. I don't give a fuck about imageries and perceptions trying to be down. That's not me, son. It's not me, bro. I never been no fucking dick rider, nigga. I never been no yes man. I ain't never been none of that shit, nigga. Every time I come around, nigga, I've been a man, nigga. Everywhere, nigga. That's why niggas respect me, nigga. And I done looked out for mad niggas too, nigga. It's another thing, choke. I got little niggas that'll slap you up, slam you on your head, man. Little bros, little cozos, little homies. Niggas that pick you up, dump you upside down, wake the chain out your pocket, get you up out of here type shit. Little niggas. Not even me. You understand? Like, I'm a super duper big homie. Respect me or check me, nigga. Like, you understand? Respect me or check me. Like, like that's it. And you can't check me. So that's where we at with it, nigga. That's where we at, man. And anybody that's on here, like, yo, five red, fuck you, nigga. Give a fuck, nigga. I came on here to talk, nigga. Fuck y'all mean. Y'all niggas talking, I'm talking, nigga. Y'all niggas know what it is, man. That's what it is. Fuck out of here. Like my fucking weed, man. Now. Now. Who the fuck is up in here, man? Who the fuck is up in here? Nah, nigga. And it's another thing, nigga. I'm not no frontin' nigga. I come on the internet, I be talking, I crack jokes. You know what I mean? I show love to everybody. But I'm not no, like, I don't even play around like that, son. Straight up, bro. I don't even play around like that, bro. I never did. Never in my life. I never been like a fucking joke playing ass nigga like to play with. I crack jokes, I have fun, but like, niggas playing with me? No, nigga. I'm from a whole different era, son. I'm from a whole different fucking time and place, nigga. Hands on at all times, nigga. Boop, bop, bop. Before you talk, niggas, it's in your shit, nigga. Period, nigga. And if you go to something else, you go to something else. You better hope we don't bring it to something else, nigga. Straight up, bro. Straight up, son. And yesterday about the Desiree Perez shit, I don't know Desiree, man. Straight up, I don't know Desiree, man. You know what I mean? I was just making a point that I'm not ever co-signing nothing with Snitch 9. None of that, nigga. Niggas don't fuck with Snitch 9. That's that, nigga. I'm saying, 
when you start trying to say the streets and yo, with with far my yo homeboy. Homeboy. You're not qualified to do that. You're not qualified, son. You're not qualified to do that. You a background dancer, nigga. Go teach somebody how to fucking moonwalk or break dance, nigga. But when you talking about selling crack, I really sold crack before, nigga. I really beat cases, nigga. I really sold dope, nigga. I really ran the streets of Brooklyn, nigga. I really ran the streets of Atlanta. I really ran the streets of Philly. I really ran the streets of New Jersey. I really ran the streets of fucking... Nigga, I done been in Connecticut, Boston, Rhode Island. All these fucking places, nigga. Like, seriously, man. North Carolina. This is real. Florida, Orlando. Like, real. You talking about, nigga? How many cities a nigga got a name? I done been to all them places I just named, and I'm rocking and popping everywhere, nigga. Niggas know me the fucking first day I come to the town, nigga. The hell are you talking about? I don't really go through that type of shit, son. I never did, son. Niggas is well-connected and respected, bro. This is some real shit, bro. Yo, choke no joke. Let me tell you, son. This is my platform, nigga. Hey, buddy, choke no joke is in here right now. And see, yesterday, when I look at the playback, you know what I'm saying? He used his platform early on i see a lot of cracking jokes and yo the nigga five said this you know he's supposed to be from brooklyn shut the fuck up nigga i'm from super brooklyn nigga i am brooklyn nigga don't fucking use my name you know what i mean and that's another thing now now that brings me to the hate Heights made, bed star made, it's Brooklyn made, nigga. New York City five mics. And I'm uptown, I'm in the Bronx, I'm all that shit, nigga. I'm telling you. Like, I'm not just the one block, my projects only, and niggas know me. I'm known everywhere. That's why I do the entertainment thing now. Because I'm fucking known. You understand what I'm saying? Marcy made, Brooklyn made. Two different things. Just being real. And I, and I haven't seen Marcy made yet. I've seen a couple clips on YouTube. You know what I mean? And I'm a real street nigga, so I respect anybody that put work in the streets. That's why I'm talking to you like this. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you what it is. You know what I mean? You're a live street nigga. You're the big homie. Cool. But you'll never, ever take anything away from who the fuck I am in New York City, bro. Period. And if you're in New York and you don't know who I am, well, here you go, nigga. This is what it is, nigga. Straight up. Straight up, bro. Straight up, man. I'm going to get that shit clear, man. Clear, nigga. Can't put five mics. Yo, five mics says some shit about Desiree. Man, shut the fuck up, nigga. Can't put my name in no fuck shit, nigga. I'm a legend, bro. And, and, and I'm not bigging up myself like, yo, I'm this. Yo, let me, these are facts, nigga. If you on the, yo, bro, do y'all niggas even understand? My nigga, I was on the run for 10 years almost. About 9, 10 years. I was on the run. I'm going to say that again. I was on the run from a major drug case for 9 to 10 years. In that fucking time period, nigga. I went from all the way upstate, damn near by Boston, and went all the way down to Atlanta, right? I went to mad different cities and states and places in between. And in that 10 years, I made a major name for myself, nigga, while I was on the fucking run. I'm going to say that again. I ain't had no ID, nigga. And I'm out punching niggas in the face 80 states away, nigga. The fuck are you talking about? Niggas don't even know how I even travel. We talking about legend, nigga. What you talking about? When I met T.I., I was on the run. The fuck you talking about? Niggas even want to come around me, nigga. Niggas even, yo, that nigga can't come around. He's super blood. He got the hammer, and I heard he's on the fucking run. That was my M.O., nigga. You got to understand that. So when you're talking to me, I'm just like, yo, this nigga's crazy talking to me about snitching. All right? That's 10 year period, nigga. From on the run. Nigga, I get down to Atlanta, I make a name for myself, nigga, in East Atlanta. I got dropped off with some of my homies from New York, brought me straight to East Atlanta, nigga. I didn't even hit the West Side first, I hit East Atlanta, nigga. Actually, I'm sorry. No, I hit Mechanicville first. Shout out to the West Side, I hit Mechanicville first. All right, nigga, dropped me off at a crib, gave me the keys and said, yo, we be back, and then come back for two weeks. Nigga. That's how I got introduced to ATL. Nigga, gave me the keys to the crib, and then come back for two weeks. All right? 
Then from there, nigga picked me up again, whatever, whatever in between. I went to East Atlanta. In East Atlanta, I ain't shouting on nobody's names. All the big homies in East Atlanta, what up? You already know what it is. And everybody that's locked up, you already know what it is. Salute, nigga. And I ain't gonna name drop niggas or nothing. We was in East Atlanta 2006, 2005, 2007, 2008, 2009. You already know what the fuck is going on. In that meantime period, nigga, I got more title with T.I. I met more niggas in Atlanta. And I got cool with almost every fucking rapper in Atlanta, nigga. Because I was in the street. Period. There's blocks. There's certain places in Atlanta that I come from, nigga. From back in that time period. Only certain niggas know. You know what I mean? And like the ending of the BMF era, like when BMF was slowing down. Niggas, it's certain niggas that wasn't even thinking about going to Atlanta, nigga. It was only a few New York niggas in Atlanta at that time. And I was one of them, nigga. You understand? You can ask mad rappers. When they came to Atlanta, they seen me. They was in a club. I'm in a club like this, nigga. Super blood. I'm in it like this. Every song come on was popping. Y'all niggas are like every night, every day. That's what it was, nigga. That was my lifestyle, nigga. I was on lean. I'm on drugs. It's whatever, nigga. Nigga, it's your son. Again, man. That energy that I was then, it was a... Not no joke, son. It, it, it was not no play around thing. You know what I mean? I'm just be real, bro. I see niggas on the internet make these videos and make YouTubes and make documentaries. Nigga, I can make a fucking documentary, nigga. I can make my own documentary, man. In real life, bro. Because guess what? Right now, we talking street shit, right? I just told y'all niggas, I had big case where I had 12 seals to an undercover cop. 12 seals to undercover police, bro. I don't know if you know about Rico's and drug charges, nigga. That's a lot of charges, bro. That's a lot of time, bro. You understand? I was in court, son, when I got picked up. I been caught in Connecticut, in New London, Connecticut. And the judge told me, five might, he said, oh, strong. I'm looking at the charges, you're facing a hundred years. Choke no joke, you ain't never been in no motherfucking courtroom and somebody tell you you're facing a hundred years, nigga. Ever in your fucking life have you been anywhere and niggas tell you, yo, you're going to jail for a hundred years, man. Never, bro. But what I'm telling you is facts. I told that nigga, fuck out of here, this man, whoop de whoop de whoop Anyway, I beat that case. Huh? You ever been somewhere somebody tell you you get a hundred years, you fucking beat some shit, you ain't never say nobody's name, you never snitch nothing? Just sat up, nigga? Huh? You ain't never did nothing like that, bro. So that right there, that's just one situation. That's not shootouts, that's not no fights, that's not no robberies, that's not no other incidences, nigga. That's one situation, nigga, where I fucking beat the shit, all that, nigga, and came home and got a record deal, nigga. Hmm? Huh? So I'm making movies, nigga. What? What are you talking about? Came home, get a record deal with the King of the South, nigga. One of the biggest rappers in the fucking game ever, nigga. Huh? You not? You don't come from that type of pedigree, son. I'm coming from that. Then on top of that, like I said, and, 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 and yo, listen. And all my big homies, all my brothers, all my niggas that ran the streets, that fuck with me, niggas that showed me the way. Salute to y'all niggas. I'm not shouting out niggas' names. All right. If you on here, don't feel like your five just mentioning these rapping niggas. Listen to me. I'm not shouting niggas' names. Straight up. I'm not shouting niggas' names. Y'all know what it is. And niggas who's... Y'all already know. I don't have to talk. Wherever you at, niggas like five ain't lying. The homie ain't lying, son. That's it, nigga. And if you don't know, like I said, here you go, man. Straight up. But like I said, man, I went through all that shit. Got it popping in Atlanta, bro. Like for years. 16 years, bro. Then I took myself and moved to motherfucking California. Went to L.A. Been in L.A. for a few years, bro. And niggas is on fire, bro. You understand, bro? And I rock with the real L.A. The real OGs from L.A. You understand? Niggas who got respect in L.A. That's how I deal with it. I don't talk to other people, nigga. I talk to niggas who's out of here, nigga. Straight saluting. Don't even play. Triple OGs out here. And that's how it is. And salute to Chicago, too, nigga. Salute to Chicago. I got homies in Chicago, too, nigga. Big homies. And it's all respect and loves, nigga. And they all fuck with me. I fuck with them. I represent them. That's what it is, bro. You know what I mean? I represent the culture of the streets, bro. And people respect that. Choke no joke. There's no, there's no, there's no narrative that you could paint to take that away, bro. And like I said, we talking about legends, right? That's one category. All right? Let's move that to the side. For all you niggas that, oh, five think he's super street. Five extra, extra gangster, blah, blah, blah. Shut the fuck up, nigga. Number one, I'm a basketball street legend in New York City. 
I'm a basketball street legend in New York City, nigga. All the legends and NBA players, nigga, I know them all, nigga. Most of them, if they come from New York, I play ball with them. I seen them play. Or I was playing in the game. They know me, son. I'm coming up around that time and ever in the early, late 90s, 2000s, bro, in New York City, bro. These are facts, nigga. On top of playing at Lincoln and being and hitting threes, all that dumb shit, nigga, I was playing at every tournament there ever was in New York City, nigga. You can ask niggas, bro. Ask niggas that play ball for real. That's from Brooklyn, nigga. Niggas that's really from Brooklyn, they gonna say, nah, my son used to ball. I used to hoop, nigga. And when I used to hoop, I used to be crazy, nigga. Shout out to Ron Artest, nigga. Cause I was like a Ron Artest type nigga when I played ball. But I was a little more, you know what I mean? A little more Reggie Millerish, but I was bugged out since day one. Never ever really was like some regular dude. Like, I've always been kind of unpredictable, crazy. And I've never been pussy, nigga. Ever. Ever, nigga. Give a fuck, nigga. And if a nigga got, got over some shit, nigga be 10 years older than me, nigga. I'm 12, 13 years old type shit. Nigga can't talk about no grown man shit that nigga ever said anything to me, bro. Ever, nigga. Like, that's what it is, bro. So again, choke no joke. Now, nah, when you ask me about... It's like, you're, you're out your fucking mind. You're out your mind. And now, before I go. Before I go, bro. Before I go, man. Son... We're going to get it right. Because I still see dummies up in here. We already know a snitch is a snitch. Period. But I explained that the nigga to even upload a video to bring a topic up. Like, who's the big, who's the bigger snitch? Desiree or 6ix9ine? How does 6ix9ine to Desiree? Nigga, that's some snitch bitch shit, nigga. Huh? That's some snitch shit, nigga. Choke no joke act like a snitch, nigga. He reports shit all day. Like the media. Huh? He records people with a camera. He gets a camera and records people. Not only does he record people, he's been saving the footage for 20 years. Huh? He recorded Dame Dash and them 20 years ago and this thing got the footage still. Who the fuck does that? Huh? Police. That's who the fuck do that. Police and the feds do that. He's a journalist. Somebody say he's a journalist. He's a Jay-Z journalist. Huh? He's a Jay-Z journalist. He's not a fucking journalist, bro. Are y'all niggas? Are y'all niggas bugging, bro? He's a Rockefeller 1990-something journalist. He's a rock... I, listen, man. Choke No Joke is in here leaving comments. I'm sure y'all read them later, man. Choke No Joke. Listen, this is my platform, nigga. Huh? This ain't your platform yesterday where you was talking and doing... This is my shit now. I'm fucking talking. And you, sir... Have more police tendencies and more snitch things than I could ever have in my fucking life, nigga. Because you film the Rockefeller niggas when they smoking weed, arguing and fighting, right? It's choking no joke. Filming everybody. Huh? That's you. Niggas got to tell you to choke. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Nah, nah, I'm working. That's you. That's you, bro. I don't film people, bro. You understand? If I film somebody, they say action, director shit. Nothing where I'm catching niggas smoking and saving the footage and uploading to YouTube and making 10 bands with the rumor report, nigga. Get the fuck out of here. Can't play me like that, son. That's two different things, nigga. On top of that, another thing. You talk about Jay-Z all fucking day. Huh? You talk about Jay-Z all fucking day. Like a stand. It's almost like a stand. Because let me tell you something. Call Jay-Z right now. Call Jay-Z right now. Or matter of fact, even try to show up where Jay-Z's at one time. You haven't even seen Jay-Z in person in a fucking probably a decade, man. Huh? You ain't seen Jay-Z in person like 10, 15 motherfucking years, nigga. And you being sarcastic yesterday like, yo, five Jay-Z. Shut the fuck up, nigga. I'm not a dick rider, nigga. Jay-Z will tell you that. Huh? It's all love and respect with me, nigga. When I post Jay-Z, I always say love and respect. Because when I met Jay-Z, he showed me love and respect, nigga. Huh? On a personal level. Not Jay-Z, rapper, rapper. We were Sean Carter, bro. That's it. That's how I know Jay-Z. And I know him through somebody that I known him for 20 years that's tight with him like this, nigga. And they brought me to the OG, nigga. That's it. That's it, nigga. Kareem Burks, I met Biggs on my own, nigga. Lenny Yaz, I met him on my own. Everybody else, I met him on my fucking own, nigga. Only nigga I never met in person is Dame Dash, nigga. Huh? Cameron, Jim Jones, Jewels, name them. I know them. Anybody in the state property, I know them. Freeway, Petey Crack, nigga. Young Chris is my 
my fucking man, nigga. Huh? Him tell you when I was in Philly? Cause I was living everywhere in fucking Philly, nigga. Huh? Meek Mills will tell you that. You're not that. You don't, you're not that. You're not that. The Haven, once again, I already spoke earlier about the Haven. I got to mention something else. The Haven, I don't know how long you was locked up. I got to go find out. But I think you was locked up for a long time, bro. Know what I mean? So I feel like Choke No Joke is a background dancer, cameraman, slash cool nigga. But he kind of manipulated you to kind of jump in with his dialogue to play against the big homie five. Like, no, that, that's not going to work. You know what I mean? Because the Haven, I'm a real nigga that's up here that when you're making your little videos, we understand that we're from the street, so we're giving you a little air. You can't go try to denounce me and say I'm not from Brooklyn and all this. Like, hold up, the Haven. Like, I'm a real nigga from Brooklyn, bro. And if you're a real nigga from Brooklyn, you know we don't give a fuck. Hmm? We don't give a fuck, nigga. Right? Street cred don't fucking matter. Two goons, two homies, two big niggas, what up, nigga? Two live wires is on. So I'm just telling you, I'm not going for that. I'm not... Like, I'm not, I can't let you do that. That's where that, that this come from. I'm like, whoa, the Haven now. Come on now. Hold up, bro. You've been gone for a minute. And you, your shit, Marcy made. That shit, Jay-Z, you know what I'm saying? But Brooklyn is this big, bro. This is Brooklyn, bro. There's other parts of Brooklyn that's rocking, bro. There's other legends in Brooklyn, son. You bugging out. You know what I mean? And I'm only 36. That's another thing. I am not y'all niggas' age. Let's get that straight, too. A lot of y'all niggas acting like five mics super old. I'm not these niggas' age, man. I am not these niggas' age. These niggas is 10 years older than me, 11, 12 years older than me. You don't see niggas my age saying shit. I ain't trying to be funny, like. You don't see niggas my age saying nothing. Because niggas my age, I fuck with most of them. Most niggas my age, we all grew up together in Brooklyn, New York. We ran around, you know what I'm saying? Everybody kind of much know each other. But I can see a nigga from 20 years ago... 10 years ago or some shit making a comment because he don't fucking know. You know what I mean? Straight up. Straight up, bro. And everybody that's in this uh, live right here, no, I'm talking straight facts, nigga. Facts. I, I haven't told a lie yet. You know what I mean? Choke no joke. You got beat up. You got beat up by the security or some shit with the rock and all that. I ain't never been beat up by no, you know what I'm saying? Never. I got jumped one time, nigga. In seventh grade, nigga. You know what I mean? I went to Jackie Robinson 320, nigga. Huh? Ebbets Field, nigga. More Crown Heights shit. And at the time, I was the worst junior high school in the whole fucking country, nigga. When I was over there, nigga. Nigga was just fucking slicing niggas. Fucking teachers, nigga. Running around, beating niggas up. Cutting school. Everything, nigga. Children. That's another thing y'all niggas don't understand. I come from a fucking era in New York where kids was running a lot of things. These are facts. Like, the kids were running a lot of shit back in the days, in the 90s and shit like that. Little kids running around with big guns. Get the fuck out of here. Yo. What? Boom! Shooting niggas, all that. Kids selling drugs. That was New York back in the days. The OGs was training little niggas, huh? Little niggas like me, little niggas like my homies. Again, I ain't gonna shout no names out. But, yo, that's the era we was brainwashed. We came up with that. OGs put that, assault, put that on us. I mean, as a part of as a part of just being in New York, running the streets as a young nigga. That's why I'm saying a choke, no joke, no choke. When I was 17, I had more money than you, son. When I was 17, I had more money than choke, no joke. But choke, no joke was a cameraman for the Rock. I had 25 times more money than him. When he was a cameraman waiting for his paycheck, working for Jay Z, I was in the hood selling crack. Huh? Straight up, nigga. Straight up. And you see, I post videos. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all. My, my, my background and what I used to do, I don't like to promote it because niggas use that to try to create narratives so you don't get a bag. Right? It's like the little herbs and shit. They use that. Oh, now nah, look, he did this and he did that. But it's like certain stuff. The Statue of Limitations is up, man. That shit's so long ago, I could talk about it. And the streets? Nah, bro. Uh, some of y'all niggas, uh, some of your favorite rappers, the biggest ones, you know what I'm saying? Niggas, you know what I'm saying? When they met me, I was super blood. Super banging. Not with 30 people. By myself. Like this, nigga. Anywhere. What up? Niggas, I'm talking about a lot. Turned on at all times. Niggas, like, what's wrong with your man, son? <laughs> what is wrong with your man five? Yo, this nigga fucking out. Like, that was my M.O., son. And back then, certain niggas wasn't even thinking about acting tough. 
they was kind of looking at me like, oh, shit, like, I ain't never met too many niggas crazy like this. I'm like, yeah, nigga, niggas like me, they done put away, or niggas done died, or niggas you hear about, nigga. Dinosaur shit, this is like last of the Mohegans, nigga, this is a special moment type when you was around me at those, I'm bugged out, nigga. And now to see a nigga come, now I know, listen, yo, and this is some real shit. It's not about talking tough and acting tough, because right now, I'm in a whole different space. All right? I'm a real businessman. Like, I got stocks, I got endorsements, I got deals, I have money, and I have business going on. And I have a family, I have a daughter, I have mad shit. You know what I mean? But when niggas get on YouTube and start that talking shit, nah, if you want to talk, let's talk, nigga. Y'all want to talk that talk? Let's talk, nigga. Let's not hold back. Because if we were talking about legends and streets, I already told y'all niggas. I done showed you two, three times how I'm a legend. Twice, two, three times. I done told you all the street shit that happened, and then niggas moved down south and get record deals? And you from Brooklyn? When niggas say, I never heard of Five Mics, you never heard of me because I never really went commercial like that. When I was signing deals and rapping in studios to all your favorite rappers that you see every day, nigga, at them times, I was a street nigga with the money. But key word, I was on the run. See? So even if niggas, you know, truth be told, shot Lil Wayne. This is shit choke no joke, bum ass don't know. Um, choke no joke. Lil Wayne offered me a record deal before, bro. Straight up. Like, for those that don't know, like Lil Wayne, one of the best rappers alive ever, right? Okay, cool. He offered to sign me like twice. And one time he called me on the phone from the Bahamas, nigga. And I don't lie, nigga. Know what I mean? This rappers that was there, you know what I mean? Shout out to T Streets and Gutter, 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 and niggas like that. Niggas was there, nigga. The niggas went to the Bahamas and then called me Lil Twist. Like, y'all know Lil Twist? That's my little bro. This is real shit. This is things people don't know. Lil Wayne called me from the Bahamas, said, yo, five mics. When we get back from the Bahamas, I'm going to sign you to Young Money, nigga. At the time, Young Money didn't even have a logo. Huh? They didn't even have a logo. They had a manager from Brooklyn, from the same projects as my father. And they were sitting there, him and Wayne, at Hot Beat Studio in Atlanta, going over the logo for the Young Money. The niggas walked in the room and asked me specifically, yo, what do you think about this? You from New York. How do you feel about me having this Yankee sign shit? I said, that shit fucking hot, Weezy. Shit hot, Wayne. Fuck it, nigga. Shit hot. New York gonna like that, nigga. You, you represent, nigga. You fucking with us, nigga. And that shit look hot. It look hard. That was it. It was before Drake. Nicki Minaj wasn't around. I'm telling you. It was uh, Lil Wayne, T-Streets, Gunna Gunna, um, J Mills. And then like a little while later, like Drake might have been around, but he wasn't at the studio sessions at that time. Rick Ross was in there, T Pain was in there. You know what I mean? This is real shit, bro. I'm in there with Wayne. Am I in there with Wayne Dick Rider? No, nigga. I got my own studio session. Lil Wayne and them came right in my studio session one day, straight up. Walked up in there, I asked Wayne, you know what I mean? Like, what's good? Freestyle for Wayne, playing my music for Wayne. I was around, around Wayne when he did the Carter Three. I was around that nigga the whole time. Like, right after he stopped fucking with, like, with the Gilly the Kid situation, he was in the studio in Atlanta doing this and that. I'm there the whole time like this. Doing my own thing. Paying for my own studio time. You know what I mean? But at the time, also, I was fucking with Tiana. Tiana was like my family. So I used to just be in the studio on Hot Beats, pay for my own studio time, hustle all day, rent out Hot Beats, and drive over to Tiana's studio and just chill. They already, yo, you can record if you want, five mics, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You know. I knew your brother. And I just be over there with them. They like my family. You understand? So at those times, that's why you never heard of Five Mics. But when Swiss Beats is in there and they doing swagger like us or whatever the fuck is going on, nigga, I'm right there, nigga. Oh, you talk about legendary crazy moments, nigga. Huh? Legendary Manny Fresh and all these niggas coming to the studio. I'm right there, nigga. I don't like, I'm telling you, bro. The biggest rappers right now, the hottest niggas, nigga, I'm right there on their first day, man. They come in the first day in Atlanta, they bump, yo, what up, Five? I'm right there, son. They'll tell you, Five Mics was on it, bro. Straight up. And I'm still on it. You know what I mean? You make me activate, that's what it is, bro. And I activate at any time. Anytime I have to fucking turn up. That's it. You know what I mean? But look, man. I'm sure y'all got enough sound bites for the for the day, you know what I mean. Um, for everybody on here, I wanted to talk. People saying stop, yo. Listen, don't tell me to stop explaining myself. I got fans on here, right? We got fans and we got people listening for the first time. Don't fucking know me. If I want to talk, I'ma talk, nigga. Stop listening, nigga. Get your ass off for the fucking get your ass off my live, nigga. 
And then I'm sharing a moment. I'm trying to explain to the, to the fans, period. So anybody else, you ain't got to explain yourself. Yo, yes, I do, nigga. Because if you don't, niggas put the headlines. Five Mike said, nah, nigga. Who's the fuck Five Mike said? Fuck y'all niggas. <clears throat> and all choke, no joke fans, fuck y'all niggas, man. We're going to end it like that. I'm out of here.